Take a look at something beautiful. You know how hard it is to find somebody the perfect gift? Well, this buddy of mine on the building commission did me a favor. Actually, it was more than a favor. It was the kind of gesture that requires a brilliant response, and that's what this is. After a while, that society found out about this, they'd do more than take away my zoo privileges. Oh, isn't she a beauty? Ah. I like what you got going here, mister. I know what statement you're making here with this uh, untamed predator concept. It's like we's all in a cage. Dig it? And only the wild beasts survive in the jungle. <laughs> right? The meaning does not escape me. Who is this genius, Cello? Well, hi, Mr. Sharp. It's great. Deliver it with my approval. What the hell are you doing bringing this cheap suit into my office? Well, he, first of all... Name's Sal Tortina, and we all can't afford Sergio Armani. But believe it or not, <laughs> This did cost me a few nickels. Besides, it's not the clothes that make the man. It's the man that makes the clothes, right, Chuck? <laughs> Speaking of which, is that pink? I mean, real pink? I love it, but isn't that last year's color? I am trying real hard not to get angry here. Uh, Mr. Sharp, uh, Sal here wants to talk to you about Richard Channing. This is the guy. You bring him to my office, you dumb, stupid, ignorant... Hey! Calm down. What do you hear what he has to say? I understand you're concerned about ignorance, uh, but you don't have to worry about ignorance with me, Mr. Sharp. Now, why is there an E at the end of your name? Listen, low life. Turn around and waltz out of here. We never met. That's cool. I just want to let you know Richard Channing offered me a job. I'm his do-gooder project, which means I'm close to him. Which means, if there's any information you'd like me to get before I whack him, I'm there for a few bucks. I'll tell you what I want, little man. I want the time, the moment, right down to the millisecond when his spirit leaves this planet. You got that? Why, Mr. Sharp, that's downright poetic. Now get lost. Richard Channing. Sal Tortina. Just the man I want to see. Same goes here. I was wondering if you weren't too busy. If you and I could take a ride, I got something to show you. Well, I got something to give you. A little bonus to help you get set up. Done good. <laughs> you got four digits in here, man. Why are you doing this? Sal, give yourself some credit, will you? I've got you working here because I think you can help me. You don't get it, man, do you? I was gonna take you for a ride so I could blow your brains out. That's why I was following you that night. You dig it? Oh, Sal. Sal, Sal. Why? I never know why. I just know how much and who. <gasps> Michael Sharp. I better leave. Just forget I got out of prison, all right? And watch your back. Sal. You still work for me.
Michael Sharp wants a war, why don't you give it to him? I'll help you. Wait a minute. This thing ain't gonna electrocute me, is it? No. You could take a shower with this wire on. You all right? If you're not comfortable with this, we'll find another way to get him. Nah, that's cool. It was my idea. You're gonna be with him every step of the way, right? You don't have a thing to worry about. We do these and I sleep. That's what I'm afraid of. Don't worry. All right. I'm gonna be there, too. Oh, hold on, Janet. This is a police operation. No way in the world are you coming with us. Hold on, I'm coming with you. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. I supplied the U.S. attorney with a hell of a lot of information. He owes me a few. Call him if you want. I'll call him. Good, good reception to Mr. Sharp. Tell me again, what did he say on the phone? He said uh, everything was going fine. And this time he wasn't going to screw up. What do you mean, this time? Tell him. What do you mean? Well, I don't want to tell you. I kind of thought I might ruin your digestion. But Sal is the same dude who tried to hit Jenny in prison. What? I told you, guys like this are hard to find. Hey, there he is. Ole, ole. Let's go. Where you been, man? Come on. Some chicks or what? <laughs> hey, hey, Jalo. Let's get in the car. Nice car. Good news for me. Three slugs in the back of the head. Is that good enough for you? Pelicans will be eating for breakfast. All right, Sam. I told you he's a good man. So, you gonna pay me for the hit on Channing now, Mr. Sharp, or are you gonna put it on your credit card? Because I'm gonna buy me some Italian silk. Throw across my back. Like Come on, Sal. Uh, Get him to say something. Oh, you would have it. This is going to be a very big waste of time. Love that sound. Thanks. Nick, drop him off at the next corner. Shoot, man, what's wrong with this tube? Nick, turn off the tape player. I'm losing my picture. The tape player is not on. <laughs> what you looking at me for? Jello. Checking for a wire. How did that happen? Hey! What the hell? Don't you think, man? I record all my transactions. I'm not doing nothing. Well, you can keep it if you want. Are we being followed? Now that you mention it, step on it, Mac. Damn it, we're gonna lose them. Right now. No can do, Mr. Sharp. 
Since when are you a choir boy? Uh, 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 this is where I draw the line. Don't ask me again. Mr. Sharp? Mr. Sharp! Hey! Hey! Ten thousand dollars. Says you're a lousy driver. Sorry, it was my fault. Here's another dead scumbag. He was my friend.